Bonsoir Bras, welcome back to the channel and in today's YouTube video I'm going to be showing you guys how to use Illustrator to create sick thumbnails so that people will start clicking on your YouTube videos. Let's get started. Okay, so you've been making some pretty sweet YouTube videos, but for some reason you're noticing that your viewer count isn't as high as you thought it would be. Well, the issue might not be the fact that your videos are bad, it might just be that people aren't clicking on your video to begin with. And that's why thumbnails are so important. Thumbnails are a great tool for YouTubers to get people to notice their content. It's a great way to add more information besides the title, and it's a great way to entice people to click on your video rather than someone else's. Okay, so there are a couple different things that you wanna keep in mind when creating thumbnails. One, you wanna make sure that the foreground or whatever you want the audience to focus on stands out and is separated from the background. Two, you wanna use text that's gonna be bold and stand out and catch people's eye. And three, you wanna make sure that the title in your thumbnail brings out some new information than the title in your video. This way you can bring out some new information and might draw more people in than you would have with just the same title in both the thumbnail and in the video. So with that being said, let me show you guys how I make my thumbnails using Illustrator. So right now we have the thumbnail that I used for my last video about how you can stand out in the crowd using branding. So what we're gonna do is break down how I made this. So what we have is this picture and this Twitch background color. So what I want to do is cut out my body from the background and paste it onto this color right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to minimize it a little bit so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm gonna grab the pen tool and zoom in a little bit. I'm just gonna start tracing the form. So there you go, I traced out everything. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click this path, holding down shift, I'm gonna click the background image, and what I'm gonna do is make a clipping mask. And there you go, that has now cut out my form from the background. So what I'm gonna wanna do now is I'm gonna place this onto the color background. So I'm gonna grab this, take it over here, and let it fill up the space. Okay, so now that I have my face on the background, what I'm gonna do is I have the stroke right here and I'm just gonna slowly increase it to the size that I want. And what I like to do, I usually do it around 10 or so, just enough so that it stands out from the background really well. So that's the basis of what the thumbnail is gonna be. It's just my face with the colored background and now all I need is text. So the title of my YouTube video was something about three steps to figuring out better branding. So I don't wanna do the same title. What I wanna do is try to think of a different title that is going to draw people in. So what I came up with was, how can I stand out? And one thing I did with this, I put a drop shadow underneath it with big bold text, and how can I stand out is another title that's gonna bring people in and want to figure out what this video is actually about. And if you have a business, you wanna know how can you stand out from the crowd. So basically, this is pretty self-explanatory. You just get the text tool, you write whatever you want, and what I do in each thumbnail is I pick a different title, and I basically just copy and paste this font into the new thumbnail so that it's quick and easy and it takes no time at all. And there you go. So that is a completed thumbnail that stands out from the rest of the thumbnails out there on YouTube. And if you have Illustrator, this is a really quick and easy way for you to get people to notice your videos. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. And once again, I'm Suave Ross. And if you did like the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the bell so that you can get notified for whenever I post a new video. And just a quick reminder that I stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. I love to hang out with people and I paint. It's just all around a great time. Also, I just posted a video about how to stand out using branding. And if you're curious about that, go check it out in this next video. I'll see you guys there. Bye-bye.